He's flat being egg white shirt. I'm sure what he's been doing up until now. But the main news is, as he sits down next to his manager, David Jones, says that he is a Cardiff City player for the new season. Now we're going to hear from Craig Bellamy now. Yes, Craig, uh, welcome to Cardiff City. That's become the most famous blue door in television history. We've been on it for about half an hour, but you're here now. It's good to see you. What made you decide to come to Cardiff? Um, it was pretty obvious, really, just to come home. Um, my wife and kids live here, so um, I've spent the last six years up and down the road. Um, and I, I, I always, because my family, you know, I've left home at 15 years of age. And I had a feeling I always wanted to come back here, but I wanted to come back at the top of my game. I didn't want to, you know, be at the end of my career and maybe having the odd year here. Because um, because my family have been here as well, they've supported me my whole life. But I've wanted to, like, reward them as well, if you understand what I mean. I want, you know, to say thank you for them for travelling everywhere to watch me play. Now you're going to get to watch me play right at home. And hopefully in front of, you know, you know hopefully at you know, a, a high level. But you come here as a result of difficult circumstances. Um, obviously there are regrets, but you're just going to make the best of things here, are you? I, I, I'm trying to find out where nothing's difficult. Nothing's difficult about this. I had the greatest time at Man City. You know, a great time. You know, I came there at a great period of that club's history. And um, I was brought to take that club on to the next level. And I believe I played a big part in doing that. And um, I feel great about it, honestly. I feel, you know, with Gary Cook and Carl Doon, two great men. Um, I felt, you know, I just, I feel that I helped the club get to that next level. And the players they're signing at the moment is just incredible. And it's a great moment for the club. And, and they're bringing in some great players. And I'm sure they're going to really, you know, in the next couple of years, I'm sure they're going to get that Premier League title. And, you know, I'd be really happy if they did. But a player who was described recently by Mark Hughes as one of the best players the Premier League last season, not to be included in a 25-man squad to make a Premier League appearance, must hurt. No, well, look, you know, last last week I broke I broke the news to you lot, which I think you, I got misinterpreted. I think you lot found that difficult. But you know, I broke the news to you lot. I wasn't going to be in a 25. So for me, then it's you know to look at the options I have, weigh everything up, and um, I have, and that's why I'm here. You know, I, I'm here to be home. Positive. And play football. I know we'll get positive in a moment, but just one final point on that. The relationship with the manager there clearly broke down, did it? Yeah, but I'm fine with him. I hope he does really well. I really do. There's no, you know, there's no ill feeling. What I've heard, some of the things I've heard over the last week, but I've heard it before. It doesn't, it doesn't phase me, you know. It doesn't. I hope he does well. He's a top manager. He's brought in some top players, and he'll do very well there. And I'm sure, that, you know, they're gonna have a great season. And I'm sure in the next few years they're going to really go on and win that Premier League title. And you know, I'm just happy I've played a big part in that role of the club for this time being. Is there any truth that uh, Manchester City refused to sell you or loan you to a rival, i.e., another Premier League side? Um, I don't, you know, want to get involved in, you know, details that is private. Um, but you know, look, I'm, at the end of the day, I think you, you know we should be happy that I'm here. You know, happy that you know I've come down to the Championship. I'm willing to put my neck on the line. This is going to be very, very difficult, probably the hardest um, decision. I mean, football-wise, I'm going to have to make in my career because this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. I, I grew up in this league. I know how tough this league is. It's a lot of games. Um, Travelling to a lot of places, this is going to be um, a tough, tough time in my career. And I'm, you know, That has given me um, excitement as well because I know how this is a great challenge for me.